Well, good evening, everybody. Um, nice to meet you. Um, tonight, we are going to have an interesting discussion about education. Um, this will be moderated by Mr. Iqbal. Before we start, I would like to uh, convey the rule of our discussion that uh, we need that need to be obeyed by everyone here. First, um, you need to mute your microphone while another uh, speaker uh, is speaking. Uh, especially uh, our moderator, who is Mr. Iqbal, okay? Secondly, you are not able to give your statement if the moderator doesn't allow you to speak up. So again, please uh, respect our moderator tonight. If you'd like to speak up, just uh, ask the moderator first. Uh, thirdly, please focus on our uh, topic of discussion um, due to the fact that tonight our topic is related to education. So all your statements, please uh, make it relate to um, education uh, specifically. And subsequently, the hosts are capable of cutting your statement if the moderator thinks that that's enough. Okay, again, respect our moderator. And in this discussion, you're encouraged to be active because uh, here we are on the same boat. Uh, therefore, in our discussion, we never we never possess a specific uh, speaker like narasumber in uh, common or usual discussion uh, like webinar or other uh, discussions. Um, hence, uh, we only have a moderator um, that will um, lead us to discuss certain topics in this topic um, related to education. And finally, please raise your hand on the notification of participants, okay? Um, so when you'd like to uh, confer your statement, you need to raise hand on the notification participants. So now um, I wanna ask you guys to raise your hand. Uh, you can use uh, participants box below, okay? After that, there's an option called raise hand. So everyone, now I ask you to raise your hand. Um, now we are doing we are doing a simulation, okay? Okay, thank you, Mr. Eka, Mr. Sodikin, Ms. Siti, Ms. Gida, Ms. Jamila. Okay, Mr. Indrewanov, please. Yeah. Mr. Saifura, Siti Hawa, Ms. Dian, and others, please all raise your hand. It's private because when you'd like to convey your statement later on in our discussion, just um, use that option, okay? Okay, and then uh, the moderator who is Mr. Iqbal will be easier to uh, look at whether you would like to speak or not. Okay, now you can lower your hand again. Okay, please, everyone, lower your hand. All right, without further ado, um, I wanna give this uh, special uh, opportunity to our moderator to lead us in our discussion tonight. So Mr. Iqbal, time is yours. Please take the floor. Uh, you're still on mute, by the way, sorry, Mr. Iqbal. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Anga and Bismillah, assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, and good more good evening, everybody. Tonight we are going to talk about education, and because the COVID nineteen pandemic has created the largest disruption of education system in human history, affecting nearly one point six billion learners in more than. 200 countries, courses of school institution and other learnings, learning spaces have impacted more than 94% of the world's student population. So we are, we are going to discuss about this topic tonight. Okay, the first slide, education system in Indonesia I think everybody know that in this era, 
Actually, Indonesia has changed many times about their education system. And in this year or in this era, education system that Indonesia used is national education, national education system, where this education system applies to all levels of education for primary to tertiary education. And this education system applies to all levels of education from basic education to higher education. Previously, compulsory education for Indonesian was set for nine years, which includes six years for prim primary school and three years for secondary school. And however, it has not been increased to 20 year, uh, to 12 years, which includes six years for primary education, three years for junior education, secondary education, and three years for senior secondary education. Okay, and the question is, what kind of education system that can be applicable and relevant to the current condition in Indonesia? Okay, for participants, want to give their opinion about this question, please raise your hand. Okay, the first, I will give chance for Mr. Ho. Mr. Ho. Yes, sir. Okay. You mentioned my name. <laughs> Yes, sir. Please give your opinion about what kind of education system that can be applicable and relevant to the current condition in Indonesia right now, especially for yes, edu social distance education. Yeah, getting my sources that I read several days ago that the teachers are busy because they are they have duty it's like they are busy because administration not how to be innovative how to innovate the how to innovate their method of learning yeah this is the the, the fact that i got it when i read some uh, several articles or and the fact that they could, because uh, the teachers are busy about the administration, not how to be innovative, how to, to be productive, to give the good method of learning, to give the unique method of learning. It means the students will not feel that the student, uh, the school is not free as like prison. So the school is like garden, not prison. That I asked the school students here. How do you feel when you visit in the school? Because many teachers asked the duty. Have you done doing your duty? Have you done doing your duty? One teacher move one na one one teacher move another teacher. So when I ask the student, how do you feel when you visit in the school? Is the school like prison or garden? The students say, I don't know. I can't say that the school feels garden the school feels prison this is the statement that i can deliver for the first statement thank you mr Iqbal. okay thank you very much it's good opinion okay go to the next speaker i want you to give your opinion about this question mr muhammad indrewanov <laughs> Could you give us your opinion about this question, Mr. Indri Wanov? Hi, yeah, uh, I will, I will try. Okay, time is yours. Okay. What kind of education system that can be a quick combo in the Western Yeah, yeah uh, I suppose that uh, the people in Indonesia is still a little 
little bit dilemma regarding what kind of the fucking shit things that the Nadi Makarim give to our uh, students because I suppose that it's not the all of uh, the, the sectors that is still um, is still applicable to, to the several programs that has been given by uh, Nadim exactly. But based on my opinion, yeah, regarding what happened in Indonesia, yeah, we, we still focus on one thing that that is uh, how how to manage the education system that is is more effective is, is such as what happened in um, Finland, for example. Even though Indonesia and Finland are different, but there are the several things that we can implement from their education. One of the thing is um, studied by their uh, patient. It's like if you want to become engineers, yeah, there, there are the several subjects that it should be related in uh, to be engineers. If if you want to be a pilot, for example, there are the several subjects that it should be related to uh, to be a pilot. And one of the craziest thing also until today, yeah, the different thing, uh, different thing between Finland and Indonesia is it, it's such as how to respect to the teachers. It's, it's like what happened in the central uh, teacher in the remote area. It's, it's like in Malta, it's like in Papua. They, they, they have, yeah, they, they, they are not respected by uh, the government. It's like the salaries and others. So this is the reasons that, uh, not how, but uh, it's, it's not uh, what, but how, for example, how, how to give the prosperity to the several teachers in Indonesia, how to make uh, the balancing between in uh, east and west it is not focused on one system that they, 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 don't, they don't know about the several regions still have the problem with uh, the development their development is that way. so uh, related with what happened today yeah it, it's like what they they give to us i suppose that is it's, it's not really effective it's like uh, they give us online class yeah in the school but in other hand the, the sub the curriculum is still what useless i think so many 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 people think that it's, it's better they, they take the course in the several uh, formal education yeah it's like in um, in the several formal education in paris like in uh, jago bahasa bahasa is like in uh, chakap.com and others they, they they give the nice curriculum in online then uh, this country with a bunch of money in the research development. So this is the great thing. So this is the reason that we have to focus on our R&D in our curricula, how to improve our education system. So this is my opinion. Okay. Well, that's amazing opinion about this question. Okay. Next speaker, I please Mr. Ahmad Nasiruddin to give your opinion about this question. Mr. Ahmad. All right, thank you so much for the chance. Okay. Anyway, guys, nice to meet you all here. Uh, perhaps I'm just newbie here, but yeah. Uh, I will go to directly to the questions here about the education system that can be applicable to the current conditions. Uh, I think if we talk about the current conditions of Indonesia, we see that this kind of pandemic still influenced much for the education system. And we know that till right now, uh, some of regions still uh, applying, you know, the online system. And which is made for all the teachers in formal uh, education. They just, uh, you know, focus on how giving so many assignments to, for, the, for the students. and. And anyway, I'm uh, working in, you know, uh, one of uh, online course, online, course. what is it? Yeah, I mean like, uh, yeah, online course in application that, you know, uh, required me to getting closer to the students in the field. I mean, uh, I interviewed them, some of the students in several level. Uh, since elementary, uh, secondary until uh, high school. And most of them right now, they are so bored with the online system itself. 
and they need to go back to the offline system, which is make them to see directly with their friends and with their teachers at school. And, you know, uh, yeah, it means that Indonesia needs to go back to the offline one, I mean, yeah, uh, even some of the regions also start to begin go back to face-to-face uh, -face or offline mode in the class or in the in the school yeah but it is still need to uh apply, apply the you know uh what is it the system of how how do we say progress yeah uh, with the progress system yeah it makes the students cannot feel so free to study like the normal situations one yeah yeah that's why this is the big homework for yeah ministry of education for Mr. Nadim, yeah, because yeah, this kind of pandemic situation still give big influence for the students because we see students is the primary, you know, subject for the education itself uh, besides the teachers and also other uh, facilitators, facilitators like uh, the headmasters and others. Yeah, I mean, uh, I also agree with the Mr. In race opinions before, uh, talk about the curriculum. It is also cannot be applicable uh, directly for all the regions in Indonesia because of uh, how do we say tumpang tindi? Yeah, uh, some of the regions are not still equal, and also like Mr. Hu said in the previous that you know the teachers still so busy with the administration system and so on. Yeah, so many homeworks. Yeah, that's all my opinion. Maybe you guys can give any response or feedback. That's okay. It. That's always some opinion about yeah, this talk question. Talk. And yeah, actually, I agree with some of your opinions about uh, how the government uh, has to give us some instruction or yes, good things for students so the the student can be happier when they are studying about something in their class, uh, not only in offline or online class also. Okay, next to the woman, I want a girl Miss Uni Apprenti. I please you just to give your opinion about this question. Miss Yuni Aprianti. Okay, Mr. Sunshine, uh, time is yours. Okay, finally, the plans given to me. Thank you so much. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah. <laughs> It's okay. Uh, it's normal for me to be ignored. <laughs> okay. okay. Anyway, uh, I like to say that um, the essential things that need to be implemented to the education of Indonesia right now is the uh, flexible and dynamic adaptation learning. So, so far, I see that there are always changes. And there is always resistance from coming from society that is not easy accepting all the policies related to the education. Um, basically, when I look at this slide, I believe that the existence of national education system is also essential, but to the point it should not similarize the education for every single level. Yeah. Yeah, for junior high school, elementary school, and tertiary or higher education should be differentiated in terms of education, implementation, education materials, education manners, since every single student studying over there has specific characteristic in terms of learning approach, learning mental, learning manner, and so on. And I, believe, I couldn't blame that in terms of pandemic yeah, and uh, 
the things that have been done by the government so far has been quite good. They promote uh, the PDG or online learning system that basically it's actually good. Uh, I don't say that it's, uh, it's the downside of online learning system is that it's too much rely on the surveillance given by the parents. So when the parents didn't give enough attention to what the children, children will find nothing and no one that can guide them. And this is the big problem. The existence of the teacher itself is not sufficient since not all teachers are considered credible in terms of online learning system, especially those who live older than us. And that's why they always give like biting homework and it makes the students stressful. And the problem is that, uh, is that we need a solution for that. Yeah. How, to make, uh, how to make the students uh, can get familiar with those homework, with those homework. I mean, like, for example, the government had been uh, revising the implementations of the homework by doing lighter uh, homework, for example, and giving more, how to say, asynchron, uh, synchron, uh, synchron learning system in which we have a face-to-face -face learning model for, uh, right now, not only giving like uh, asynchron, and asynchron it means like, you only given homework and you will be given like a several information, several slide, and you need to read it and then explain it, discuss it with your friends without uh, direct surveillance or monitoring from your teachers. I believe that this is actually a really good moment for us to improve our online education system. Like it can be implemented further in the future that probably we don't really need offline system. At the very least, we still have like uh, blending learning, blend learning in which we're going to have like virtual learning, but at the same time, it doesn't minimize or it doesn't reduce our opportunities to have more interactive education, communication with society around us in our vicinity. And then we can improve that uh, to our virtual education discussion with our teachers and our peers. I think that's for me. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, great opinion. And actually, I agree with one of your opinion about uh, in the future, we don't need to do offline class again, because is it like a Japanese, Japanese student, some of them agree about online class because uh, they have been familiar with offline online class and they said, is it uh, is it uh, each easier than offline class? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's awesome opinion. Okay, next to Miss Safira Khairani. Miss Safira Khairani. Are you there? Could you? Could you give us your opinion about this question? Okay, what about Miss Leah NR? Miss Leah NR? <laughs> because until now there is no woman <laughs> is talking or giving their opinion about this question, so I want one of the girls here give their opinion about this question. Uh, what about Miss Chami? Miss Chami? Yes. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay, time is yours. Okay, thank you so much for the time. Um, talking about education system in Indonesia, I think, um, no, no. I mean, every school has uh, their own curriculum. And um, I have friends that teach in Cambridge curriculum school. Mm. And even, 
um, in this condition, I mean, in pandemic, they still um, they still can make their student interesting to study. I mean, they don't give like um, like give material with PowerPoint only, but they give um, how to say that like project for student. I mean, uh, and for example, uh, they they has uh, I mean they have material about food chain, and the teacher give tasks for for making poster for their student. I mean, this is one of way that can make student more active so they don't uh, they don't on the, uh, they don't dip, uh, I mean they don't wait material from their teacher only but they can searching about the material and then they can make their tasks uh, cre creatively and then uh, they can improve their brain, not only from their teacher. So, I mean, um, in this condition, maybe it is one of the way that can make a student interesting to study even in online education. I think, uh, uh, I think that's all. Okay, thank you very much. Miss Anne, yeah, actually the important things that the student need in this uh, pandemic is more explanation about their lesson before the teacher give some, uh, some duties for the student because yeah, it, it needs really, uh, what is that? It's like, yeah, they have to struggle to understand more about the lesson before they do their tax or their duty from the teacher. So in my opinion, yes, the teacher, the teacher has to give more explanation before give a duty for the, for the student. Okay, next. And okay, what about Miss Fabrian, could you give us your opinion about this question, Ms. Fabrian? Ms. Fabrian, okay, no problem. Okay, next to the next speaker, um, Ms. Ariza Hartina. Miss Ariza, could you give us your opinion about this question? Okay. Okay, what about Mr. Dickin? Mr. Dickin? Okay. 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 Okay, good evening, everyone. Well, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity. This meeting, it will be the first meeting for me, but I will try it. And I will give opinion about what is the topic. And it is what I think, education system, education, education system in Indonesia. Uh, as, uh, as, uh, as, as we know, when we have offline class, when we have offline class, I mean that uh, that is not really effective for us for for to reach uh, to reach our dream to reach our dream by 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 our way when we go to school we learn we learn about a lot of le lessons a lot of subjects there but we don't know what is our purpose we only go to school and we learn as we know teacher teacher touch me touch us and we we learn it 
because I got that some ex, uh, I got example it's real uh, from my friend uh, they 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 are they are they are smart but when they they have graduated they got difficult to get job because I don't know what it, what is wrong for probably they got they, they got problem because they only they only learn from they only learn from from the lesson but they don't know what what is the purpose when they they learn and right now we have the different situation we have to have online class it's harder for us uh, really and uh and i i got experience also i got experience also about that when i i got online class it's really different when i when i joined to of uh, offline class uh, you know when we have offline class it's difficult for us to reach our dream we don't know what what is our purpose when we go to school and right now we are going to online class uh, you know a lot of students when come to zoom they only they only come in the come come into zoom but they they couldn't they couldn't so the fast uh, sometime and and so, sometime also the it's it's is why what i think and what i see in some of my friends and they can they couldn't they couldn't show their uh, their face only 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 come the zoom probably you know it's like mr ku said last time the teacher also or the teacher also was busy was busy but but i but i hope when when the regulation is better the curriculum is better of the system education in indonesia is better all of a lot of students have good wear to reach their dream and uh, i got i got i got it when the mr indra or mr eka said we have to we have to learn one subject and we have to go to the one one hour dream so it will be easy for us what uh what we want to read that's my that's my opinion that's what i what i think thank you very thank you very much for the opportunity mr Iqbal. okay okay thank you mr Deacon. okay okay we are going to the next slide And this are some education system that have once been implemented in Indonesia. There are five kinds of education system. The first is value-oriented Indonesian education system. This education system has been implemented since elementary school. Here, here students are fed with honesty, honesty tolerance, discipline, and etc. And this value is conveyed throughout the fixed lesson. This value is even conveyed at the secondary and tertiary education levels. Okay, and the second is the first education system in Indonesia. There are various ethnic groups languages, regions, cultures, and etc. Likewise, Indonesia, Indonesian language education consists of formal, non-formal, and informal education. Okay, and in the third, and offense in education system in time management, this is the third kinds of some education, kind education system. And in this education system, in the teaching and learning process, time is designed so that students don't feel overwhelmed by the material presented because the time is too short or too little. And the fourth education is an education system adapted to changing times. In this system, the Indonesian nation must adapt the curriculum to the current situation. Therefore, the curriculum in Indonesia often changes from time to time until now Indonesian yes, use the new curriculum. 
Okay, next to the... And the question, the next question, this is talking about quality of education in Indonesia. And yes, I want, I want know about, I want to know about your opinion, what factors affect the quality of, of education in Indonesia? Okay, the first chance I will give to Mr. Sunshine, if you don't mind. <laughs> Mr. Sunshine. Thank you, you are so smart to choose me. Thank you. <laughs> okay, time is yours. You just like my teacher when my teacher when notice that there is students didn't pay good attention to it, what he teaches, he will give more attention to him by yeah, indirectly shooting him and giving him a question, something like this. Okay, well, <laughs> um, briefly, uh, there are so many, uh, many is like quite common, there are myriads of factors that affect the quality of education in Indonesia. We can talk about um, the input process and output, the teachers, the materials, the students. And of course, in terms of process, I believe that infrastructure is something that needs to be um, taken into account, firstly, because uh, we believe that uh, um, in current condition, the, the building of uh, building our government attempts to have equal infrastructure building was not acts, uh, was not very well done or very well executed. It is proven the idea of ethnocentrism, which means so many people believe that the building of infrastructure is in Java. That's why uh, we have a um, different idea for people to build on to move of Indonesia to Kalimantan. Equalizing the sectors of education in city for now to ensure equal, say, by uh, uh, equal education. Because so, so many people, especially those who live in marginalized, isolated, secluded places, which are so far from what is available in big cities, uh, they have a real lack of, uh, for example, like school or any other improvements in terms of uh, education materials, education tools, education teachers. So I believe that infrastructure first need to be done very well, need to be spread equally or balanced. And after that, we can put more attention to where the factors of the uh, teachers. Because I believe that if the teachers we have has been developed or upgraded, I believe that the students will follow. Because so far, there are so many people do not uh, do not have any patience to become teacher. Yeah, and some people who do not have um, previous or basic major for teaching, they become teacher. So there are so many cases affecting the quality given by the teachers and the teachers that have been teaching were uh, treated by the low salary given by the government or the institution. So we talk about um, prosperity of the teachers well, maintain the quality as well, the infrastructure as well, so many things can affect the quality of I think that's some introduction for me. Thank you. Okay, yeah, actually you have mentioned some of facts that happen in this era and it's like uh, the teacher's condition and some things like that. Okay, the next, I will give a chance for Miss Ariza Haratina. Miss Ariza. Okay. Okay, what about Miss Ainu Zumro Diana? Okay, 
Miss Aini Zumrodiana. Okay, there is no answer. And okay, Mr. Yudi Bagastian, please give your opinion about this question. Mr. Yudi Bagastian. Sorry, wait, sir, uh, because I just arrived at my home, so. I'm not already. No. Okay, no problem. Thank you very much. Okay, Miss Saif Saifirul Hanan, Mr. Saif Saifirul Hanan. Mr. Saifirul Hanan. Okay, there is no answer. Miss Chami? Miss Chami? Yes. Okay. Thank okay. so, Please give your opinion about this question and time is yours. Okay. Well, um, factor that affect the quality of education in Indonesia. I, I believe that some of factors like Mr. Sunshine said before, it's relevant and I just want to give additional, like um, beside the quality of teacher also um the uh, i mean well-being of teacher also give effect to the education because when the teacher can get or i mean teacher get fee that can give teachers can fulfill their need so the teacher can give, I mean, can teach or educate, educate the student well without they think more, they think more about their needs out of the education. And also um, about the cost of education, education can affect the quality of education in Indonesia. I mean, if there are many scholarship for school, even in elementary or higher education, it can help the low economy level of society so they can get same chance to um, study in school or even in in formal or informal education and also about the relevancy of material in school it is very important to to be i mean to make the material can relevant like um, we discussed before we can choose or i mean start from elementary we can um how to say mengarahkan <laughs> direct a student to choose their own their own willing so they can focus on their goals start from elementary and higher education so i mean um relevancy also affect the quality education 
That's all. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. And the next, I please Mr. Ekadar Mayuda to give your opinion. Okay. Please. Okay. Time Thank is you. yours. Thank you, Mr. Iqbal. <clears throat> I think I think uh, all all my all of my friends here already uh, talk about uh, several factors that affect the quality of education in Indonesia. I think I'm I'm just gonna break down some uh, some of the things that for me is really affecting the quality of education in Indonesia. First of all, of course, about the budget plan. The budget plan, uh, our national budget plan for education is spent almost 60 trillion rupiah. I think uh, in the last uh, in the last two years uh, uh, in this decade, but uh, almost 70 percent of those budget uh, is spent on on uh, what is gaji. Uh, for yeah, it's, it's, uh, spend uh, for teachers' uh, wage or something, uh, and also it, the problem is when you spend seventy percent for wage, and of course you don't have you don't have enough budget to improve or develop your science lab, your biology lab, your language lab, or your computer lab. For, uh, for example, and after that, you also cannot cannot prepare for the education infrastructure, for example, like library, public library, or uh, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. After that, uh, the second one is, la uh, I think, is also the, the affect the quality of education, also the system. Our national education system is. Uh, for me, is contradicted with is contradicted with our constitution that asks the government to to make our citizens smart and clever. But in our national education system, we uh, we try to make uh, our students or our citizen is more how to say it, more solid. I think it's contradicted with the constitution because when you see the curriculum before now, you can see they are divided into two into two matters of subject. The first one is for moral, the second one is for uh, for science. But for moral, you uh, the teacher should teach you seventy percent uh, in school for moral, and also is the problem because uh, I think there's not uh, there's that's not their job to teach moral in public school. It's, it is the job for family or uh, for another environment. And then the, the second one, also the quality of our teacher. It's, it's because our teacher is not, uh, it's not uh, I mean to disgrace our teachers, but our teacher is a struggle to follow the, the change of our uh, civilization, for example, like when you learn about uh, PKN, Pendidikan Kewarga Negaraan, you just learn about constitution, but you will not learn about how to implement implement it in uh, in your life. For example, how how many in this room know that you can make a statement in ombudsman when you see that uh, there's a broken road or uh, the, the, your traffic light is off, something like that. Many of us don't know about that. I think it's also the problem. And when you learn about moral, uh, they, they sometimes they have to, to how to say it like, uh, it's like an order, not, not, uh, not some kind of discussion. So it, it means that our, our teacher and the system is is support the, uh, the system that make our students don't want to don't want to how to say it, to tell their opinion about 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 some topic for example like physics or biology or chemistry or something and also when you uh, and also the stigma affect the quality of education when you 
when you are in social class you will you will have the stigma that you will be nothing because you have to you will uh, struggle to choose your university or something but when you are in science class you will have the bright future something like that also affect the quality of education and last uh, for me the the factors actually is about uh, uh, how to say it like uh, how to how we how do we uh, how to say it like uh, change our culture in education for example uh, in South Korea or in United States or Europe uh, West Europe you uh, when you enter the class in university you will uh, you will get something like uh, discussion in class for example like uh, in here when you enter the university it's, it's just not different with a senior high school or junior high school or elementary school something like that and then uh, we also to uh, we also uh, how to wait to early to start uh, teach our younger students to learn about mathematics or physics when they have to learn about social life for example in in TK in kindergarten you have to you have to learn about how to uh, respect your friends you don't you, know, you cannot hurt your friend or how to how to speak uh, properly to elder something like that and then and then after that uh, you can learn about mathematics in elementary school junior high school junior high school and then you can uh, and also in Indonesia to uh, when we are graduated from from university we don't have any speciality just like any specialization like in other con country for example for me in law school when you graduate you just uh, have the, the bachelor of law but we don't have any speciality like we don't uh, we cannot be just before we uh, have another job school or something or something i think it's is uh, is pen uh, we waste a lot of time to 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 maintain our students to have uh, some of quality that we need i think that's it mr well thank you okay thank you very much and yes i'm really interested in your statement and you said that uh, is it like one of the important lesson that uh, it has to be taught in the first uh, education, like elementary school or kindergarten, is attitude, right? Because as they have to know first about attitude before uh, they are starting about lesson. Okay, great. Okay, Mr. Next to Mr. Yudi Bagastian, could you give us your point of view about what factors affect the quality of education? In my opinion, there are so many aspects for people good education system in Indonesia. There are so many problems and there are so many mistakes in our education. First, uh, uh, I agree with another friends that they talk about uh, education before. Uh, beside that, uh, I I am very agree. I I agree with uh, which people. Uh, siapa tadi? Sebelumnya. Uh, in elementary school, uh, sixty percent, even more then 60% uh, we have to teach about moral but in the fact curriculum even it it always there are so many chance but it's still a uh, teacher always teach about subject matter in in rapport in 
rapport we we can see there are there are three aspects there are three aspects as uh, our evaluate by the way i'm a teacher in elementary school and i also teach in uh, informal informal and non formal education uh, and i see it it's our it's our reality uh, our people yeah, people stigma has uh, knowledge and intellectual question is the most important thing is the most important thing so uh, parents always always guide their children that guide their child to learn about mathematics language or uh, everything as a lesson as a subject matter it's so different with another country that they have uh, a good education we can we can see finlandia japan canada or another country they 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 always teach about moral value they always teach about effective effective it's about moral and we we don't we don't really we don't uh, we don't really care if our uh, our students can can uh, be honest person it's really it's really of course it's really worth worth words uh, because uh, it's it is the most important thing uh, there are so many people have a good IQ but they they don't have a good EQ, emotional question, and SQ, spiritual question. So, uh, even uh, always, there are so many change uh, curriculum and system, but it still it still need many. Um, uh, it's it still need many change and have to be have to uh, teachers. Teachers need some uh, training, uh, workshop, or something like that. So, uh, because exactly uh, for senior teacher or older teacher, they need a lot of uh, training to be a modern teacher because they always teaching by comment, teaching as a teaching for by uh speech or only by uh tell with their speak up uh exactly in this era nowadays uh it have to it has to with student center so a student have have to student has to be more active more active than teacher. Uh, so that's why there are uh, we teacher has to give a creative lesson, ha have to give um, active learning so uh, students can be more confident, can speak up to their friends. They don't, they not only know, but they can talk, they can speak up, they can understand what what should they do what should they do because until right now they know if we throw garbage with garbage waste or something uh, has to in the right place but they know but they don't do that they don't do what they know that i mean they know but it's useless if it is only it is just as knowledge it's health, it has to as a practice, it has to be implemented they, with they yourself. So our education right now still about uh, result for later, result for paper on based on paper, not about process. If they if they are uh, students, if there are students they uh, say the truth and try to be honest. 
even they say if they are, they are uh, has a mistake, there are so many uh, teacher uh, blame him. So I think teacher has to be a uh, humanist. Humanist give um, more, give more, give more appreciation. Humanist and then uh, give their students trust, trust them. So they can have more confidence and believe with their self. That's all. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you very much for Mr. Yudi Bagustian. Uh, yes, can I? we will continue to the next slide. Sir Iqbal, can I? Ah, uh, okay. Would you mind letting? <laughs> Uh, okay, because I'm the host tonight, okay. so I, uh, I can't raise my hand actually. So uh, I, okay, time um, is yours. <laughs> I just want to add uh, one point regarding uh, cost of education. Um, I suppose that uh, cost of education uh, could affect the uh, quality of education. Um, I um, believe that if um, the education, uh, the cost of education uh, will be free for all um, in my viewpoint, uh, the students, um, they they will uh, focus more about how to make an invention rather than um, uh, spending a lot of time to make um, the way to get their money back uh, in my full point. Uh, let's see, uh, even though Indonesia's uh, national budgets in terms of education, uh, some elites say that uh, that's high, but it's still lower than um, other uh, budgets like infrastructure, uh, military, or even religions. So I think um, it should be uh, it should be given more to the uh, education sectors, because um, in my viewpoint, when uh, the cost of education uh, is lower, uh, the students uh, can um, more focus on how to make an invention or inventions, a lot of inventions, in instead of uh, you know um, how to make or try to get their money back, right? Because um, um, in my experience, there are so many friends who would like to uh, study to uh, simply, to merely earn money instead of giving more inventions. Let's take uh, Cuba for uh, as an example. Uh, Cuba, as, as, as I know, in 2000, they uh, gave a free education for all from um, junior high school to um, to university, uh, the bachelor degree. So it made um, the, the government uh, try to um, encourage and highlight that, highlight that because your education is free. So you need to sacrifice your knowledge uh, fully to everyone uh, instead of um, uh, making yourself um, merely uh, health, uh, sorry, uh, rich uh, by your education, but you need to sacrifice your uh, education. Therefore, in um, Cuba, because their education is free, especially um, doctoral uh, degree, um, the doctors over there have given a lot of inventions in terms of uh, the quality of uh, doctors. In a COVID-19 era, for example, they've um, invented um, the independence of uh, their vaccines by themselves, and they also sent a plethora of doctors to the to the um, other countries uh, needed their help, their assistance. So I think um, again, cost of education is pivotal to be uh, implemented by the government um, in order to improve the quality of education. Thank you, Mr. Iqbal. Okay, that's always some opinion about factors affect the quality of education in Indonesia. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Anga. And okay, we will go to the next slide. And these are some factors that affect quality of education in Indonesia. There are three kinds of factors. Uh, the first is internal factors. And the second is external factors. Yes, for internal factors, we can see there are some, yes, 
ranks. The first is the Ministry of National Education, exactly. And the second is the Regional Education Office. And the third is a school uh, that are at the fr forefront. And the second is external factors. And yes, external factors is society in general, where society is uh, an icon of education and is the goal of education. Okay, and for the other factors, actually many factors cause the low quality of education in Indonesia and make the quality of education even worse where Yes, there are seven items that I mentioned in my slide. The first is low quality physical facilities because there are many education institutions, both public or private in Indonesia that still have low quality physical facilities and infrastructure, such as many damaged buildings, no learning tools and media available. And the second, low quality teachers. Yes, actually, is it like the topic that we used to talk about is every year? Yes, so at this time, the condition of teachers in Indonesia is very worrying where most teachers currently don't have high professionalism in carrying out their duties uh, as stipulated in article 39 of law, no resource and the uh, community service. And the third is low teacher welfare. And I think we can find it easily. The low welfare of teachers has a significant role in influencing and the quality of education in Indonesia where the income is low to mention that the teacher are already looking for a side job. And the fourth, low achievement of students. Yes, with such a situation where the low physical facilities and infrastructure, so it gave an impact the student uh, can't get low a lot of adjustment in their uh, education because the teacher quality and the teacher welfare affect unsatisfactory student achievement. And the, the fifth, lack of education opportunities. Yes, children's opportunities for obtaining education are still limited. And okay, the sixth is the low relevance of education to need and the seventh the high cost of education where this is a polemic for underprivileged who want to attain education the high co the high cost of education at this time is not only in the ter tertiary education but starting for early childhood education to the tertiary education level where this of course make the poor have no other choice but to not be able to go to school because they have no money. And this is an obstacle to the advancement of the quality of education in Indonesia. Okay. So now we are going to talk about neg neg the negative impact of distance learning. Okay, the first chance I will give to Mr. Ridwan. Are you there? Mr. Ridwan? Okay, for participants who want to give their opinion about this or just tell about your story maybe <laughs> when you are a student in your school just rest your hand 
and I will give you the chance. Okay. There is nobody who wants to talk. Okay, I will just miss Sony Afrian Shah. Miss Ria, sir. Miss Ria. She raises her hand. Okay, wait. Okay, Miss Ria, time is yours. Okay, thank you for your time. But I think I'm not talk about the negative impact for distance learning. I want to talk about the education system the education system in Indonesia. I think that the teachers in Indonesia is more active than the students because I think the student is really, there is no encourage them to speak up to show about their confidence. I think will the teacher will still give the best role model for the students um let me see about the education system in the full of country like japan or a system in united kingdom they have a good system for instance their student all of the subject not uh to learn about the, all of the subject. They just learned about the subject that their patients uh, to concerns to improve their self to be a good quality students. Can you uh, hear my voice? It's yes, I can hear you. Okay. It's clearly. Okay, go ahead. I think, um, we should be uh, give uh, some training for the the teacher also because we should be know about the students. The students have the criteria about their capability for understand and concern about the subject. For instance, the students and the met we should be know what the method, the best method for the teach our student. For instance, the student have the uh, auditory uh, auditory method, visual, kinesthetic, because uh, different students, different cap capability that they want they want understand about how to be a good learning. And let we see in Japan, they give uh, all of their students some achievements. All of the students is of the best of the best uh, themselves. Even the subject is in Indonesia is maybe, for instance, a literature or what the subject is not common in Indonesia, but the teachers give the reward for the student. The, the teacher can encourage their students for doing the best of the best that they can do. But in Indonesia, uh, only a few subjects that will be make prestigious subjects I think it's make uh, some student is not confident about their results and they doing for studying. So the best way to give hand for the student is give the best role model because the te teacher is the role model for the student give a best achievement for the student also and give opportunity about their capability because different students have different capability. Not all of the subjects that they can learn. In Indonesia, you should be have capabilities all, all, all of the subjects, all of the materials you should be learn. But in different countries like this Japan, you just follow about their subject that you have patience about the subject you want concern to study. And I think it's good. Okay, thank you very much. And yeah, I agree with you because every student has different ability and different ambition to be what what they want to be. Okay, next to Mr. Sunshine. 
Time is yours. Okay, I'd like to uh, give more critics toward uh, the statement given by Miss Ria before. Um, so what has been complete by her, I can say that this is the thoughts of the parents because uh, they want their, uh, the children to be treated differently based on their personal preferences, personal learning tendencies. And this is something that in education phenomenon also being demanded to the student need to master a variety of subjects not only math physics chemistry education civil and so many more meanwhile like has been said by Ms. Ria, teachers is also demanded to have a variety of understandings of teachings including all personalities differences teaching that should be given to a and we do not we do not have this kinds of thing, right? So we need we need to start from the teachers, like what I said before. Uh, I believe that um, uh, uh, to to complete or to tackle this kind of problem, uh, we need to um, make a frontal and make a like, really huge change towards our education, but it has to be taken gradually because uh, you're going to have a really different way how to classify and place every student based on the personality. And there are good some statement again, for example, like if we classify and put like uniforming the placement of the students, uh, there will be less adaptation because there will be less dynamic uh, behavior of the learners right for example like this is uh, the, the class for kinetic students and they will never know about how others will actually uh, do some approach in terms of learning and there will be like monotonous learning experiences right so i believe that uh, uh, in spite of the decline and uh, the uh, the minimum understanding of the teachers to treat the students differently based on their personal learning approach. I believe that this is something good. As long as um, the teachers can uh, embrace the differences, with the diversity of the students' uh, tendency, the learning combination, um, while uh, it is uh, it is really hard to just demand the, the teachers to give uh, uh, to give in fact yeah, in all, uh, in on, online online learning system we want the students to be uh, we want the class to be more student centered right but this is quite impossible yeah offline we can we can say that it is possible because uh, there exists a situation in which uh, the students can collaborate with other students. Meanwhile, when we move the system toward online learning, uh, there will be less time, less moment for those students to collaborate, to cooperate with, the, with their peers. Especially when they live at home, there will be like uh, house chores and there will be demands from their parents to help working and many more. And this is something that lessens the possibility of students to become more independent in creating like student-centered uh, learning system. And I believe that we, we should we shouldn't uh, we shouldn't demand the teachers to have more uh, upgrade or improvement. But basically, we pay them not handsomely. I mean, like uh, yeah, because the thing they the thing that they need to have like you know additional works because. Uh, what has been given by the school or for any education institution is not sufficient for them to uh, live their life, to live their family, right? Only after managing to fulfill all the salary very well, we can make them, we can demand the teachers to give a more qualified, more quality teaching system for the students. I think that's funny. I'm sorry, too long. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. And it's always some opinion about this question. Okay, next to Mr. Eka Darmayuda. Time is yours. 
Okay. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Iqbal. I think I will talk with my based on my experience because I'm still uh, do this distance learning with <clears throat> online class or something. And I think the most thing that I really hate about online class is when we we get the same thing just like when we do offline class for example like when our lectures are teaching they they just uh, talk by their self and then we just like uh, sitting in front of the camera on camera and then just wait for the class end something like that and I think it's impact uh, a lot of our maybe psychology that we feel bored, et cetera, et cetera. Maybe if they can implement OTA system that they just uh, give us the question about uh, regarding to some topics in our subject, for example, like human rights law or something, maybe it, it, it will become, become more in, uh, attractive uh, in in the online class uh, and then second one is when uh, the trouble when just like I said when Indonesia infrastructure for education is still uh, bad we have to face the uh, a problem with uh, internet or uh, face the problem with uh, how we access the the material for our education uh, for our education for example like we don't have uh time to access library or we don't have time to to access a journal because of signal that when the student have to go back to their uh, uh to their uh, how to say it, their city or their region before so it comes the problem uh, for their self. And I, I think the most uh, the most thing that I really hate about this time learning is when we still face the same uh, the same way our lecture uh, teaching, just like I said before. And after that, maybe the the third one is when 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 our lecture or our teacher uh, don't want to explore more how to to how to say it like how to uh, teach uh, in in online system for example when they they are very lazy and then they they just give us a task or homework and <laughs> online online class make us uh, have a lot of homework something like that so i think the negative impact that we we are not uh, coming forward to 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 follow the, the, the to follow the civilization or the changes of our era, but we just move back to to maybe uh, two decades before something like that. Thank you, Mr. Ipto. Okay, that's precious. Oh, and how to overcome? Pin. Okay. And how to overcome? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe our minister of education should to make a, a really uh, how to say uh, creative uh, program that can separate where they have they have to online or they have to offline. For example, in some uh, some region, they have they they. Uh, Said they separate the class uh, to three parts: uh, morning, noon, and afternoon. Is, is I think it's a good idea. And in several regions today, are they will not uh, give the student homework, but they have to read a book and then make a discussion in class. Something like I think uh, it should be implement implement uh, with. The situation in uh, every region, something like that. So thank you. Okay, thank you very much. And next to Mr. Ridwan. Mr. Ridwan. Good evening. Okay, time is yours. 
Yeah, okay. Good uh, evening. Thank you so much for opportunity to continue. Uh, what are the negative effect of distance education? On my point of view, a distant learning does not give your direct access to your instructor. Uh, some students feel the loss of the personal touch with an instructor such as asking questions after class. However, distance learning often give you an opportunity to email your instructor in any time or chat online. It is normal to fear the loss of human contact of your in a traditional classroom until you commit yourself to this mode of learning and communication. And then a distance learning is isolated. Uh, although you are in a virtual classroom full of students, the dynamic of uh, interaction change with uh, online education. You may feel detached uh, or lonely when you pursue a uh, distance learning program, but there are opportunities to send emails to message boards and uh, engage in online group discussion. At first, uh, you might uh, miss a face-to-face -face contact with your instructor and other learners, but web collaboration can fill this void for um, many students. And then um, distance learning does not offer uh, feedback. Uh, because uh, in a uh, traditional classroom settings, uh, students' performance can be accessed through uh, equation and informal testing. And the last, um, in my opinion, a distance learning does not give our students the opportunity to work on our oral communication skill. Uh, students in a distance learning course uh, do not get the practice of verbal interaction with a uh, professor and other students. Numerous uh, students have a phone distance learning course as effective as traditional classroom training or a better. Maybe I think you like that. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much for your opinion about this question. Okay, we next to the next slide. And yep, this is some of the negative impacts of distance education. Yeah, I think the first is their classroom classroom learning is eliminated eliminated. And actually this is the big things. Uh, the students want to wants to join again to their direct class so they can met, meet their friends and do something. But as we have known presently, all direct learning has been eliminated. This is the impact of Corona on education that is mostly clearly feasible and can be followed by everyone. And Yes, this was done in order to comply with the large scale, scale social restriction provisions made by the government. And the second, there are gaps in the resources of supporting facilities, especially in, under, in underdeveloped frontier and outer most area in Indonesia. Yes. When any type of home learning is done online, there may be gaps in the facilities. Many students rely on the educational facilities provided by school and college. The reason is not all students or students have adequate facilities, whether it's gadget, internet connection, or even electricity, moreover, moreover students and students living in the, uh, we, we mention it tiga uh, T or treaty in Indonesia. And they didn't have difficult, uh, they have difficulty getting online learning super facilities. And the third is 
the learning process felt heavier. Yes, some students feel that learning from home feel tougher and tougher than before, based on research conducted by the conversation. Some parents suggest that distance learning is not limited to handing over assignment. It is so good if the delivery of material assistance is also reproduced so that the students can really feel like learning and are not just given assignment. Is it like that I said last time that I think the teacher have to, the teachers have to give more about explanation in the lesson than uh, the duty so the student can understand more before they do their duty. And for the student, this is the negative impacts of distant education for the students. Uh, so as far as we know, yes, there are many cases about this. The first is threat of dropping off of school because uh, many of students' family want their, uh, their children to work or earn money than uh, attend the online school. And the second, there is a learning achievement gap. Yes, because of online class, or is it like the negative impact of distant education? And the third is PC colossal stress and domestic violence. And the fourth is cases of violence against children. And the last, marriage. Yes, because many students feel that is it useless for attending the school because the school is like a uh, board for them because it's not ju it's just about uh, online class. So some of students decided decided to marriage to get married. Okay, next to the next slide. Okay, now the positive impact of distance learning. If we look at this case from different side, we will see some of positive impacts because of social distance learning. So, okay, what about you? Did you see the positive impact of this case? So I will give chance or who wants to talk for the first, please raise your hand to tell about what is the positive impact of distance learning that you see. Okay, what about Mr. Sunshine? I've, I'm really interested in your, yes, and your statement. So I think it's really precious when you are talking about the positive impact of this question. Okay, time is okay. yours. I will give some insights. Yeah, on that. Probably the flexible because uh, I guess uh, his blood in this year as the first citizen, and he managed to. Kill two birds with one stone. So, in times of learning at maths, he ate the day the video. In part, he also worked part timing as the teacher in, in one cafe. So, I believe that this flexibility will provide facilities both for the teachers and students to manage uh, the more negotiable schedule for both of them. And I think this is really so. Uh, beneficial and valuable for them since in offline uh, you will have less uh, ability to do that i think <laughs> i want to so i want to talk so much but i guess because uh, we have limited time i would like to give more chances to others to speak up about that thank you I think uh, that's all. okay thank you very much mr sansan and the next mr ahmad nasiruddin would you mind giving your opinion about what is the positive impact that you see? Well, about the positive okay. impact. Time Surely, as it being, yeah. 
Surely we believe that every single thing uh, happens for the reasons and it has the two sides, positive and negatives. For me, in this education sector, the positive impact is about... Hello, can you hear my voice, guys? Yeah, I can hear you. Go yeah. ahead. Yeah, you know, the teachers and students, for sure, uh, they become the prioritize of the government uh, that they should be safe for these kind of situations because, yeah, uh, students as the next generations in the future, they must be in the health conditions for right now and uh, the day after and in the long future. So in the other hand, also the students who are still don't know about how to harness the uh, technologies, for example, uh, nowadays uh, they know and you know uh, they can use uh, the gadgets and also the technology technologies medias uh, in order uh, in learning systems in learning activities so that's why you know uh, they who still don't know in the previous time right now after that after this uh, pandemic uh, they know more about how to harness the technologies in education sector something like that yeah i think uh, only those two points for me. Okay, thank, thank you very much for your precious opinion. Okay, the last, Mr. Sony of Riancha. Could you give us your opinion about what is the positive impact of the COVID-19 on field of education? Hello. Hello. Okay, time is yours. Screen is not see here. Screen, please. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. What is the positive impact of the COVID 19 pandemic on the learning? Um, I have the positive impact, the chance for the student when the student wants to give an something else uh, I can't give example my friends here I'm um, looking for opportunity for being good in uh, English because that that's why they want to join hello hi yeah go ahead can you hear me? yes we can. I hello. can hear you hello next um, I give you an example. Uh, as far as I can see, my friends give uh, or, or take some opportunity for being good uh, English in global English right now. Uh, they want to choose being a, a part of the program. Uh, beside that, they lecturing. They still lecturing. Uh, is impact the positive impact of the pandemic and the positive impact of the pandemic also made the student know more about the, the, the knowledge in uh, other perspective when the, they want to uh, see in the internet or something else but uh, in this slide before actually i want to say like this once uh, Beside the uh, distance of learning have a good impact for us, it also make a negative impact. It's some for the student also. Uh, yeah, after this have a, uh, it's met the student that have met interactional, interactional with the teachers. It's fun because they always use Zoom and everything else. It, it, it is for me. Thank you for giving me a chance. Okay, thank you very much for Mr. Sonny and all of the participants who have given their opinion about our topic tonight. But sorry, because yes, we don't have much time so i think this is we have 
Yes, that is our discussion tonight. And <clears throat> okay, the conclusion of this topic, learning using technology to daily lives. Technology could progress does have a negative and positive influence, but we cannot avoid technology, especially during the corona pandemic. With the corona pandemic making us think how the learning process takes place with a method that can please students without being face to face. Please forgive me for every single mistake that I have made. And thank you very much. The last I say will be like with Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And the chance I give back to host. Well, thank you, Mr. Sony, for your nice uh, topic to us um, that you um, has delivered to us. I think that's very uh, great. So before we end, I want to give, uh, as always, uh, some feedbacks uh, in terms of our English uh, before. Uh, Mr. Iqbal, uh, could you please um, stop sharing, sir, because I would like to share my screen. Uh, okay, let me show you. Uh, all right, can you see this, guys? I'm sorry, I didn't uh, write a lot of things because I did enjoy our our discussion tonight. I only wrote uh, several uh, things related to uh, vocabularies and um, grammar. All right, first of all. Uh, let me say in bahasa Indonesia, okay? Protokol kesehatan. Tadi di awal ada yang uh, kelupaan ya. Health protocol. Kalau uh, prokes system, uh, barangkali bisa dibilang health protocol system. Tumpang tindih, overlap, sinkron. Eh, mungkin sinonimnya dalam bahasa Indonesia selaras ya. Mungkin di dalam bahasa Inggrisnya bisa kita pakai inline. Mengarahkan, bisa pakai direct, guide, channel, atau steer. Gaji, uh, salary, wage, atau income. Saleh. Nah, tadi ada yang pakai bahasa Indonesia ya, bisa pakai pious atau religious atau obedient, ya. taat ya, tapi kalau ada obedient spesifiknya. Comment based learning yang tadi Mr. Sani, pembelajaran yang berdasarkan apa Mr. Sani perintah ya, common based learning, menumpulkan blunt, menyesatkan mislead, menyeragamkan atau seragam kalau nounnya itu uniform, in spite of atau despite uh, terlepas dari. Nah, selanjutnya ini ada uh, kosakata ya. Ini berapa saja? Mungkin teman-teman bisa cari yang lainnya. Poinnya adalah teman-teman bisa um, kalau mau meningkatkan kosakata, teman-teman bisa memvariasikan kosakata teman-teman ya, khususnya yang sering diucapkan. Misalnya kita sering pakai improve ya. Sorry, ini improve. Improve uh, bisa pakai increase, enhance atau upgrade, important bisa pakai essential, pivotal, vital, necessary, thing bisa pakai suppose, guess, assume, reckon, deem. Uh, kemudian, for example, tadi ada yang pakai for instance, that's very great. Ah, satu hal tentang grammar ya, yang sering diucapkan menurut um, yang saya tangkap tadi, um, their self, mereka sendiri. Saya pikir yang lebih tepat themselves ya, instead of their self. Okay, I think that's all um, from me. I'm sorry, I didn't uh, write a lot of things, but I hope it is um, it, it'll be beneficial for all of us. Later, I'll send this on our WhatsApp, okay, on our group. Thank you so much. Well, before we end, as always, uh, it's time to us to uh, take a picture. Uh, so please, everyone, uh, show uh, show us your handsome and beautiful face. <laughs> All right, come on, Mr. Andin, Mr. Rofi. Uh, so please. Okay. Rusia gelap ya. Okay, who's gonna take a picture, Mr. Indravanov? Would you mind? Okay. So please, um, smiling guys, smile. Okay, slide Mr. one, two, two, one, go. Slide two, slide three, four, and last, five. Okay, thank you. Okay. <laughs> 
All right, thank, thank you so much, guys. And I hopefully we can meet again next week with a different topic to discuss. I think it will still uh, be interesting. Uh, thank you so much. Discuss. So the last I say, um, Ota, hi Ota. Yes, the day is dead tomorrow. tomorrow. All right, thank see you guys. Yeah. See you next week. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Senator.